this video uh, is about uh, when to return to sporting activities. We get a lot of con a lot of questions about when to go back to sport. Uh, those sports are all over uh, the board. Some are as simple uh, as just uh, people want to just get back to walking or walking quickly or hiking. Uh, some people want to get back to cross country skiing, downhill skiing, riding a bike, whether it's a road bike, a mountain bike. So there's a lot of questions about when to return. So these are going to be very broad generalizations, but we'll give you some good ideas. So let's start with uh, getting on, uh, say, a bike or something, uh, whether it's stationary. You should never get it back on any sort of a mountain bike or road bike until you feel comfortable getting on and off the bike. Most people can't really get on and off bikes well after hip or knee replacement for about, about eight weeks. Obviously, it's very individual. However, you can start using the bike after a knee replacement with no resistance. You can start using the bike 20 minutes a day for, with no resistance at three weeks after your surgery. Uh, if you do it too soon, you'll end up creating a lot of inflammation and swelling in the knee, and it may even be counterproductive. Hip replacement, same thing. I don't want you doing any sort of uh, cycling, whether it's on a stationary bike uh, or whether it's recumbent or, or one that's a regular standing bike for at least three weeks. Again, for the same reasons as the knee, uh, is you can create a lot of swelling and inflammation. It's just to get your motion going. These obviously you should start with no resistance and work your way up slowly from there. You can start the very first time you do it. I would not do anything more than five to 10 minutes. Just try it out, see how it feels. And then you can increase each day by about one to two minutes. So if you do it every day by one to two minutes in a week, you've added 14 minutes to how much you've done. So you can go up, you actually end up going up fairly quickly. Again, no resistance on any biking for at least, at least uh, four weeks. And then you can start to add gentle resistance from the four to eight weeks. So that covers uh, riding the bike uh, and the stationary bikes. The second one, people have all types of questions about when I can return to golf. Golf is, uh, I, I actually encourage golf. It's awesome for hip motion and for and getting out and walking. Um, obviously people, you're not gonna strap on your 18 holes with your nice big golf bag and walk it. It's not gonna happen. So when you first go out there, um, the first thing you're going to do is chip and putt. Um, and, and the question is, well, when can I start? It's simple. This is how we break down golf. Absolutely, I don't want anybody to do anything with golf for four weeks. At four weeks, between the four and the eight week mark, so for those four weeks, you can go out and you can chip and putt as much as you want, which means anything within 20 yards of the green and putt your hearts out. Once you hit the eight week mark, from eight to 12 weeks is when I want people working on anything that's less than 100 yards. So whether it's a hip or knee replacement, eight to 12 weeks is when you start working on basically that's your gap wedges, your, your choke down nine irons, anything that's less than 100 yard swing. Work out of the sand traps, have a ball. But that's your eight to 12 weeks. So when you hit 12 weeks, which is right at that three month mark after your hip and or your knee, you can start actually swinging the club. Don't go out there and try and start, you know, playing 18 holes again. Get on the, get onto the practice green, uh, practice tees, tee up the ball, and start easy. Start with your five, fours, maybe get down to your treble clubs, and then start doing three quarter drivers, so on and so forth. But none of that for 12 weeks. So chipping and putting four to eight, short game eight to 12. After that, you can start to open up your golf game. When we talk about other activities, which are really twisting and turning, where you're really loading, huge loads go on the hip. These are the things like racket sports, racquetball, tennis, any of these types of things. None of those you should be doing to any significant hardcore until you get out past 12 weeks. The reason for that is simple healing. You will not get good bone healing to your hip implant for about 12 weeks. And even in the knee, you won't have the coordination and really the maturation of the healing of the knee till about the 12 week mark. That's just biology. At 12 weeks, you can actually start to try and try and play doubles tennis. Now you're not gonna walk on the court at 12 weeks and just start smacking the ball around and play you know, three, th three games or something along those lines. Start hitting the balls. Now, some people will cheat a little bit. Maybe they do it at 10 weeks or something like that, but I don't want any sort of major loading and twisting on the hip or the knee. You'll end up hurting yourself, you'll hurt soft tissue, and you unfortunately you'll set yourself back rather than have yourself go forward. 
So those are the big ones. When you're talking about skiing, we have people want to get back to either skiing, whether it's cross country or downhill. Skiing is obviously a dangerous sport. People say, can you ski? I'm like, and my, my answer always is, is can you ski? Uh, if you've never skied, don't ski. Uh, skiing is inherently a dangerous sport. People fall, they wreck, they can break their arms, they can break their legs, whether or not they have hip replacement, doesn't matter. Can you dislocate your hip or hurt your knee during skiing? Of course. However, we have thousands, literally thousands of people in our practices uh, that, that ski. What I would tell you is skiing, you should not return to skiing until you feel that your hip is back to almost 90 plus percent of its functional uh, capacity, which basically means most people won't be there with their hip or their knee till they get out to about four months. So you can do all the exercises up until then, get your strength back. And probably at about that four month mark is when people will feel pretty comfortable uh, with skiing. We have lots of questions. Can you do bumps? Can you do downhill? What type of skiing? And I honestly, I don't really care what you do as long as you're good at it. I wouldn't try to become a mogul skier. If you're normally a blue or a green skier, don't do that for obvious reasons. Uh, but usually four month mark is a time to get back to skiing. The other types of things in the gym, when can I return to the gym? First of all, your upper body, you can get back in the gym at four weeks if you want to and start doing upper body stuff, that's perfectly fine. As far as lower body weights, there's to be no weights on your hip, period, until you get out past 10 weeks. No weights, absolutely none. And when you do start doing weights with your legs, you should feel you should start incredibly low. I don't, you don't need to be getting in the squat machine and trying to push up 200 pounds. That's a really bad idea. We get questions on it all the time. I would say if you stand on one leg and you weigh 200 pounds, you're basically squatting 200 pounds. So it's not that you can't, it's that you shouldn't. Once you get out past about four months or so, then you can start doing much, much more aggressive activities within the gym. But things like cardio, riding the bike, which we went into, elliptical trainer, follow the same exact rules uh, for the bike. I don't want you on the elliptical doing any resistance until you get out past about six weeks. You can start doing elliptical with no resistance at about three weeks and it has to be gentle. And you're starting off at about five to 10 minutes just to get warmed up and then get off and see how you feel the next day before you start to come back uh, and start doing any further uh, aggressive activities. So hopefully that covers a lot of it. Obviously, you can always email us. That's the quickest way to get a response through, through our office. It's also very efficient, and it also is a way for you to remember what we said. It's, it's down on paper, uh, but these videos are to help you give you an idea about uh, when you can return to sport.